It's Anne over at Plant Obsessed. Guess what I did? That's right. I got my worms a bag. Specifically, I got my African night crawlers an urban worm bag. After seeing how the temperature in the basement was non-conducive to thriving of African night crawlers, I made the decision after my last video looking in on my restricted space and saw how after six months I had not gained any population. In fact, they looked kind of sickly. So I decided to get an urban worm bag to make sure I keep the moisture up as well as keep them content and from running amok upstairs in the house. Here I am, I am going to put it together, following the directions on the back of the box. All right, guys. Well, I've done a little bit of sifting of my African Nightcrawler bins. Wanted to see if I couldn't get a good start on the bottom there and just have pure castings. But believe it or not, the leaves that I've been giving them, they're almost through them anyway, so I don't think it's really gonna matter. I'll bring you back with the next bucket. This is the, the bucket that was kind of in the middle. It is really almost done anyway. But you can see they're all nice and healthy in here. All right, bring it back to the next one. Next bucket. And the bottom of the bin. See if the leaves are not quite done up here. If I believe that's our African night crawler. Well, I'd like to see him translocate now. I won't be going up the darn stairs. All right, I'll bring you back with the next one. I had to bring this in the light for you to see this. This looks like a full grown. African Nightcrawler, but it's a stubby. Weird. Hey! Yeah. He must be related to stubby. Look at him waving at us. Hey, buddy. All right, back to work. Alrighty, I'm back. I mean, really, how many people purchase and fill the urban worm bag in one day. Probably just me, I'm a weirdo. Certainly gonna test the capacity of this stand.
Oops. Well, so that is all of my African night crawlers. And a warm snug. Alrighty. All I've got left is to put the topping on. Put the topping where, you say? I don't know. Hold my worm and watch this. No, no, we're cutting that out. Hold my beer and watch this. No, nope. hold my wine and watch this. Yeah, there we go. Now. That's everything. I guess I should have brought, bought a mammoth. All right, well, maybe once the worms migrate down, I can take some of this top stuffing, stuffing off, but I know that there's worms in the top stuffing. So I'm gonna, gonna leave it for now. All right, I'm gonna leave these guys open and with a light on them, at least for today, and then uh, hopefully they'll be inspired to uh, reduce this quickly. I mean, they're fast, but I don't think I'm gonna get the lid shut. Let's see, let's see if I can get the lid shut. It's called the 55 gallon bin, the big boy. I'm gonna start calling this one the fat boy. Sounds like my uh, blue jeans when I was pregnant. There we go. <laughs> go big or go home, right? All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. And everybody, have a good night. Oh, you got one of those things. Yep. I got all four of my uh, African nightcrawler bins in here. Hmm. That's pretty cool. What is that called again? That is a urban worm bag. The urban worm bag. If you liked this video, give me a muddy thumbs up. Click that subscribe button. And ring the bell so you can have all of the notifications of what I am going to do next. Even I don't know. I should subscribe. Alright, well thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. Everybody have a good night.